are 65 million people with kids 20 and up, right? Mm -hmm. And so many of them are dealing with, you know, financial issues, relationship issues, drug issues, sobriety issues. And how would you advise a parent who is dealing with a kid who has some sobriety challenges? What's your best advice to them? And then Johnny, I would ask you yeah. the same because there'll be families gathering this week. Well, first of all, anytime families get together, that is a uh, rocket fuel for your addiction. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. But, you know, I, I, whenever I get the opportunity to talk to families or adolescents or anybody going through that dynamic, I always try to remind them that the addict, alcoholic, whoever's struggling, they're never going to be able to get any recovery until they want it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're not going to be able to do it because you want them to or, or because they're going to lose their job or they're going to lose their marriage. Unfortunately, none of that makes any difference. They have to want it. So really, all one can do is, is do what you can to keep them from making egregious life decisions or actions that would really irreparably harm them mm -hmm. and, and, and lead by example and hope and pray for the day where the light goes on and they're ready to change. Because getting sober is very, very simple. It's not easy, but it is very, very, very simple. I like that though, but it, it's like be an example, be there, keep the light on as Father Greg Boyle says, keep the light on, keep the invitation out there. Uh, Johnny, from a young adult's point of view, um, what advice do you have for other young adults who might be going home for Pass Passover, who might be going home for Easter, who are <laughs> struggling with their parents? be it with sobriety issues or other yeah. issues? It's a really good question. Um, you know, one thing I know that, that helped me when I, it's kind of a two, two pronged answer. There's, there's the sobriety aspect and then there's like the mental health aspect, which both are, they're, they're, they're intertwined, but one can exist uh, separate to the other, which is like, <clears throat> you know, so many young people around my age, adult children that have to go spend time or get to go spend time with their family. It brings up a lot of unresolved or unattended to um, look, trauma is a word that carries a very heavy connotation, but yeah, you can use something else like, you know, issues, issues or, or even just mem memory, memory, triggers. 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 Yeah. Whatever Rob's, bit he's doing this right I'm now. I'm not it's doing the bit. For me I'm right deadly now. serious right now. But the point is, is like, it's going to pull out stuff that is going to... Wait, wait, what about the framing that's happening right now? Well, you don't need to be in this. Wait, I... Johnny, Johnny is answering this question uh, from his point of view. I know. Go ahead, John. I, I understand that, Maria, but, but he's framing it like that. That's no... There. No, no like... not there. Go, go. Let me see you, Johnny. There. Okay. Okay. Come on, Johnny. All right. To finish my, my answer. Rob? Um, get out of the frame for a second <laughs> go johnny speak up <laughs> um, um i have found that it is it is important when dealing with these like deeply personal familial moments that pull out you know um residual triggers and trauma whatever it is to be as openly communicative about it as possible and to say you know hey this thing makes me uncomfortable or to establish boundaries or to um, just not internalize it. That's, that's, that's going to continue whatever sort of emotional stressor or, or uh, trigger. It just makes it more poignant, more powerful down the line. And um, sobriety wise for young people, I mean, I, I, I think, yeah, to echo what Rob said, family stuff, is a big trigger and it can be, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It should be a good thing. You should be uh, encouraged by your family's support if it's present. And if it isn't, you should uh, focus on supporting yourself, I guess. But I just know that I'm grateful for the fact that I had a supportive family. Yeah. I know there's a lot of people. And yeah, so I think that's what's really, you had, a, you had and have 
a supportive yes. family who kept the fight on, yeah. who jumped in, and a community, your 